one more reading uh, that Patao Tep says. We're not in his tomb right now, his tomb is closed. But Patao Tep says, and this is especially for the brothers, but sisters, you need to read, listen carefully because he's telling you how you should be treated. So he's saying to this young brother that he's training, he says, when you prosper and establish your home, love your wife with ardor. Fill her belly and clothe her back, caress her, give her ointments to soothe her body. Fulfill her wishes for as long as you live. She is a fertile field for her husband. So I share that not only for the brothers to know how we should be treating the sisters as queens, but sisters, I'm sharing that with you so you should understand how a true brother should treat you, Ashe? Ashe. So that you don't let anybody just treat you any kind of way. Okay, so that's from Patahotep. Unfortunately, his tomb is closed right now, uh, so we can't go in there. But let me read you something from Kajimni. Right now, we're in the tomb of Kajimni. Can everybody say Kajimni? Kajimni. And I have something from him. Uh, we only have a couple of, we only have three of his wise sayings that were found. And they're shared again in Maulana Karinga's book, Selections from the Husiya, Sacred Wisdom of Ancient Egypt. Most people know Maulana Karinga as the creator of Kwanzaa. But we also know that he helped to translate and bring to us many of the original comedic texts. Ashe? Ashe. So here's what Kajimni has to say. He says, the modest person, he's talking about being humble. The modest person is strong and one who is true in word and just in deed is praised. Houses are open to the humble and a wide seat is given to one who is gentle in speech and conduct. But sharp knives stand ready for the unrighteous intruder, for there is no entrance except for the righteous. Ashe? Here's another saying that he gives. Those who are blameless in matters of conduct, no words can prevail against them. And those who are self-mastered, the harsh are kinder to them than their own mothers, and all people become their servants. Let your name go forth then while you yourself are silent and you will be recognized and respected. So he talks about being a self-mastered person. Another way to say that, and I used to share this with my students, is discipline yourself and others won't have to. Ashe? That's what it means in terms of being self-mastered. And this last one that Kajimni brings us, he says, be not arrogant among your peers because of your strength. And beware of acting in such a way to encourage opposition. For one knows not what will come to pass or the things God will do to punish evil. So when we talk about Patahotep, when we talk about uh, Kajimni, these are what we call the books of wise instruction, also known by biblical scholars as wisdom literature. So much of what you read in here will sound distinctly very similar to what we read in the book of Proverbs in the Bible. Ashe? 